Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I am bringing you guys another graphics mod. This was requested by a viewer earlier this week, so I just wanted to bring, make sure I actually brought this to you guys. This one I have not tried yet, and as you can see, I'm sure you guys can already notice, a, I'd say a pretty big difference. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'll let you know if I like it, if I don't like it, what I think about it. Um, but I'll show you guys how to install it shortly, but I just want to just, you know, give you guys some short gameplay real quick and uh, let you guys know what you're expected to see with this mod. And again, guys, if you guys are new, please do consider subscribing. And for you guys that just subscribed recently, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, and for the, you guys that have been subscribing for a while, thank you again. And uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys. So this mod is called Project Rage. So it is a graphics enhancers that you like to claim, you know. And I can definitely see some changes. I think a big change is in the reflections, you can see. I think this whole game as a whole looks different. It looks, uh, it reminds me of, uh, it gives me Grand Theft Auto Vice City vibes. I think it's just a huge, uh, it seems like there's a huge increase in contrast when it comes to the video. Uh, definitely a huge, huge improvement or, you know, change in the reflection on the ground. That's why I have this rain out right now, just to show you guys. I'll show you guys what it looks like to be sunny, but the reflection is insane no uh, I like it so that is one thing that I do like and I think this is a mod that you it might take some time to get used to just because of the difference in the color it looks uh, a bit greenish it looks a bit greenish to me you know but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me uh I'll change the weather shortly but let me get in a plane just to show you guys what it uh, looks like to be from you know, from the top, from the aerial view. All right, so I'm a Hydra now. So this is pretty much what you're expected to see, you know, from the sky on the dark, rainy night. Let me uh, change some actual weather. Change the time now. So this is, right, it's five o'clock. This is pretty much the morning time, what you're expected to see. I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, I actually do like this. This right here reminds me of Far Cry 5. I don't know if you guys have played that before, but that's kind of what I'm getting right now. The color, I think that's pretty much what it reminds me of. Uh, kind of like that feel of Far Cry 5. I don't know if you guys have been playing that. I think it's Far Cry 5. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Daytime, right, daytime. And let me change the actual weather now. So let's go to extra sunny. So this is extra sunny. Holy crap! I've never actually seen this. You can see the, so you can see the puddles of water from up here. All right, it was just raining. You can definitely see those puddles of water. Let's see what else. You know, I actually like it. It just takes a little bit of adjusting. I first I didn't really like it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I don't know if I like this. It's a little too uh, greeny for me. But now that I think about it, it's not bad. It almost looks like a different game, honestly. And then one thing, just to be aware of, so when you load up this game, the loading screen it looks a little weird too. Um, and it did take maybe like two tries, three tries to actually start the game. I did notice that this mod just messed with the game a little bit. Um, so if it doesn't work up, if it doesn't start up the first time, just keep trying it until it actually opens up. Um, that's kind of what I had to do, guys. So you know, if it happens to you, you're not the only one. So yeah, you know, you know what? This mod, uh, you know, out of a ten, I'll give it, uh, I'll give it a good solid eight. You know, eight and a half. I actually like it. it. Looks super green. Yeah, I'll give it a good eight and a half. You know, it's it's good. It's not perfect, um, but it's still enjoyable. I think it's still worth downloading. You know, especially when playing GTA for so long, you kind of, you know, this game's been out for what, like seven years, eight years. <laughs> so you know, a, a change is nice. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys. Let me uh, go down, get a little bit closer to everything else. And uh, let me show you the water. Nothing really, not no big change to the water honestly besides uh, uh, just, be, just it being a little more shiny reflective. Um, obviously the color green right from like, what is that? The stuff on the water. So yeah guys, pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to show you guys actually install it and I'll be right with you guys, alright? Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm going to show you guys actually install it now. So like I had mentioned earlier, this mod is called Project Rage uh, Graphics Enhancer, right? This mod is by Test11. 
and here's a couple of images of pretty much you know what you're expected to see what I just showed you guys and I'm going to show you guys actually install it along with uninstalling in case your game does crash I actually just tested this out just to make sure it actually works and make sure that you know all the files are out so you know I'll show you guys that as well um, so first thing is first guys go ahead and click download right and we want to make sure we extract it right if we don't extract there's a high chance that the model will not, will not work so you know just be aware of that all right so here's the extracted version I'm gonna close what we don't need we don't need this because that's unextracted all right so first thing guys go ahead and open up open IV all right, I've, I have it open up here, guys. I am, at, I am at the very root of the game. So what you want to do now, guys, is go ahead and in the mod, right? This is the modded uh, download that we just got. Uh, the very first file, I should say one dash main files. Go ahead and uh, double click in it. All right, so now you're left with these couple files. So once you're here, guys, uh, go back to open AV, right? Make sure you are in edit mode. And then what you want to do now is just highlight all these, drag and drop, boom. All right, one more step. All right, so there's two steps from which is to this mod. Uh, the first one is obviously dragging all these into on, into the very roots, right? I'm at the very root of the game, so we just want it at the very, very beginning. And now um, we got one more step. We're not going to mess with anything here uh, up to. We're just messing with one and two, right? These two. Oops, not those three. The Oops, I can't even highlight it. These two. All right, so we're done with one. Go to two now. Double click. Go to common data. And then once you're here, guys, stop there. Now go uh, now pretty, pretty much pay attention and now what you want to do guys is go back to open IV go to your mods folder go to update go to update RPF go to common data as you can see it's kind of a little trend here and once you're here guys what you want to do now is highlight every single file in the modder file that we got to right this is our mod right go ahead and highlight every single thing including levels time cycle and what we're gonna do guys is pretty much just drag and drop and that's it guys the mod is installed it's that easy <laughs> the instructions can be a little bit confusing because there's just a lot of text in there um you know hopefully this helps you guys out and then that's pretty much it guys right so the levels pretty much replaces everything inside of the levels the time cycle replaces everything inside of the time cycle and then uh you're pretty much done guys so now if you launch the game it might take a couple tries but you should be good now um you know if you want to be extra cautious um, I should say not cautious, you know, if you want to make sure that everything really transferred, just you even go to, uh, all right, go to the levels. So, all right, so we're going to go the same path that this one is in. Go to levels, go to GTA 5, and then here, go to levels, go to GTA 5. And then uh, what you want to do, guys, here again is just drag and drop these two. You don't really have to, it's kind of an overkill, but you know, if you want to make sure, which is what I did, I'd like to make sure my mod is actually installed. You do that and it'll replace everything here. So, levels, GTA 5, weather. And it'll pretty much drop this file in here so you shouldn't have to do that guys but you know i like to take the extra step and then same thing with the time cycle if you go here time cycle here you're just gonna replace all these files and that's pretty much it but this should be the same exact file so that's pretty much it guys that is it you should have the mod installed you start the game it might take maybe like two three tries at first just because i don't know it, i don't know if it's the mod but um, so now if you don't want this mod guys if you want to get rid of it notice that it doesn't work um, It can be you know, I don't know something with your computer or something something's just not compatible because it does happen or even for me I don't get to I can't install every single mod because I do run into issues um, But if you don't want it What you want to do guys what you want to do first thing is first right go to your mod folder again go to back to where we were just at which is here, right this path right here so mods update update rpf common data so once you hear guys so pretty much every single thing in here is what you want to replace and how do you replace how do you replace this with the original file super easy go to the same exact path but not inside your mods folder so go to you know, go to mod sorry go gt5 go to update update rpf Right, and the, right, so you're gonna get this warning, which is good because we don't want to be in our mods folder. Go to common data because every single mod that we punch, every single thing that we modify, we don't modify the actual game files, we modify the version of the, of the game files, which is uh, pretty much what the mods folder is used for. So, every single thing in here is the original file, right? And this is exactly what we want. So, what I did, guys, is just highlight every single thing in here since these are original files and be aware that it might delete some of your old files your old mods but you know i'm sure you guys can just download them again 
um, and again not many files are here and if you do have mods that you want to keep just make sure you back them up um, but pretty much highlight every single file in here these are original files and I would just put them in a folder like in here I, I just put them in a random folder called mods I just dragged everything in here so oops I think it's dragged it into the materials folder but it doesn't matter okay never mind it did it so here it is so these are all the original files right it's just an empty folder these are the original files all right got that done so now I'll go back to the mods right my update update RPF common data so these are the modded files and if you want to replace every single thing to back to where it was it's just pretty much just drag the normal files back in here these are the original files drag them in here and that'll get rid of your mod right it's, it's replacing every single modded file that we transferred in with the original version which is no mod and then that's all right so now that we got that done we get now the last step is just replace the files that we installed which are the main files so all these right so if we go back to the mod the mod right step number one right we remember we installed these inside the root of gta5 well we want to remove them simple as that so, all right. so these are what we want to remove which are and the way i do it is by click on one hit control key on the, uh, con the control key and we want to do enb we want to do reshade scroll down i let go of the control key um and then we want to get rid of D, right, hold the control key again, 3D, 3D, the next one, the next one, and now E and B light, where is that one? Which is gonna be, um, let's see, I'm blind here, this so that we got this one, and then we also wanna get rid of reshade, right, reshade, uh, this one right here. So we got rid of these two, now we, got, now we just need E and, e and low, E and B local, E and B series, and reshade. So these two, should be scrolling down where are they so these three one two we got one we just need reshade ifx which is where here it is oops that one no we need i think we already got it no it's not that one that should pretty much do it because even if you have one file left it's not gonna work without it it's not gonna work without the other file so once you have these highlighted um, just right click on any of them delete and then that's pretty much it guys so the mod is done your mod is removed now so i just showed you guys how to actually install it and i just showed you guys how to actually remove it so that's pretty much it guys you know let me know what you guys think about this mod make sure you give this video a thumbs up i would greatly greatly appreciate it subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right take care